Hello there, Virgo. Thank you so much for stopping by for your monthly tarot forecast for the month of March. Um, before we get started, I just want to say that this is a general forecast, so not everything that's said here will apply to every Virgo. And my agreement with Sacred Spirit is that it will apply to the majority of the Virgos who watch these videos and that whatever comes up is for your highest and best good. So if something comes up that does not seem like such a positive, happy, flowery type of thing, then please realize that Sacred Spirit is bringing that through because for some reason, somehow, whether you know how right now or not, knowing this thing ahead of time will be a benefit to you. Okay, so there is that. What I'm looking at with this spread is not intended to be a comprehensive look at the month for you, Virgo. This is going to be looking at one life cycle that you go through during the month, and this is going to be um, one of the more important life cycles or the more uh, a life cycle with more impact than some of the others. So, what's a life cycle? A life cycle is a, a period of time that we go through in order to learn something or experience something and then we graduate from that life cycle and we move on to the next lesson or experience so the first part of the life cycle that we talk about is really the setup to get you in position to learn or experience something we look at the lesson or the experience and then we look at what happens as you integrate that lesson or experience into your life so let's just get started Virgos on the the first card that comes up talks to me about your environment and environment can be any place that you have energy or effort invested and so most times I do see this come up as home but every once in a while this can come up as work or as school as well or any other place you have energy or effort invested but what I have coming up is that um, your environment doesn't feel very stable to you right now there's something about it that has you really um, questioning how secure you can feel with the environment that you're in. The next card that comes up does talk to me about your subconscious leanings. So these are things that are kind of going on in the background programs of your mind. They'll come up to consciousness every once in a while, but not, not all the time. And so there's somebody that you're um, communicating with or that you're wanting to communicate with. I feel like your subconscious during this particular life cycle is looking at, well, how can I do this best? How can I get my point across best? How can they hear what I have to say best? What's the best way to approach this? So it's all about that communication um, with a particular person or a particular group of people. Your subconscious is just working out the best way to handle that, the most effective way to get your point across to these people or that person. Now the next card I have talks to me about um, learning style and also communication style as it applies to this particular life cycle. So what I have coming up here is that as you are learning, I feel like um, you're uncovering things little bit by little bit by little bit as you're learning things that apply to this life cycle. So this is doing research or this is having information come up. This could be taking classes, but um, the way that it's coming in is just uncovering things little bit by little bit doesn't come in as a class to me. This is more like learning things at a personal level and just um, learning things little bit by little bit. It feels like some of these things you're actually kind of digging to learn and some of these things, they are just coming up organically and naturally. All right, so let's look at communication style. I feel like um, your communication style surrounding this life cycle is one of um, what I'm hearing is joyfulness and happiness that whenever you're communicating with somebody, you are always putting out there the most positive information that you can. Or if you're saying something maybe that's not even positive, you're trying to put the very best spin on it that you possibly can. Now, the next card talks to me about your work, and work can be how you make a living whenever I'm reading, but it also can come through as those things you're doing to improve your character or how you feel about yourself. And so what I have coming up for work, and you'll know which way this is coming in because it'll resonate for you one way or the other. And occasionally it'll resonate for you both ways because it applies in both areas of your 
life. So what I have coming up for work is that right now there's a lot going on with looking at yourself and evaluating yourself. Okay, what are my strong points? What am I good at? What do I bring to the table as a skill or an ability that is useful or an asset when I come to work? And you're also looking at where can I fit in my strengths and my abilities, those things that I'm good at? Where can I use them in the world or offer them to the world and have other people in the world pay me for those things that I'm good at so that um, I am supported by doing those things that I'm good at and that I enjoy? So this is really talking about um, looking at for a work like how you make money situation, this would be talking about really evaluating where can you do your own thing and be supported financially for that in a much very material way. Now, the other thing is, if this is coming in as what you're doing to improve your character, this would be more of looking at your strengths and looking at, okay, really building up that self-esteem, acknowledging those strengths and acknowledging um, where you're good in life, where are your strong points, where do you shine, and just acknowledging those, letting yourself soak in those and realize that, you know, you're a good person and you have things to offer that are valid to the world around you. Okay, so enough on that. The next thing that we're looking at is that part of your personality, which is being grown or expanded as you go through this particular life cycle, Virgo. And what I'm seeing is um, that you are coming into a place where you are really learning to give grace <laughs> to people around you, maybe a particular person, but definitely people around you in general. And so when I say give grace, um, let things slide, let things go, kind of let people get away with stuff. So uh, my favorite way to describe this card is just to say, you know, that um, you're learning how when it would be very easy to um, be insulted or offended, you're learning how to keep yourself from jumping on that person and knocking them down to the sidewalk and slapping them silly for the insults and offense, uh, metaphorically speaking, of course. Um, and you're learning to just let it go and kind of tell yourself, well, I don't really know what's going on in that person's life or why they're acting like that. Obviously, they have some issues that are way bigger than me going on. <laughs> And just not take it personally and just let it go. Now, the beauty in this is that when this card shows up, these acts of grace are ones that you're grateful that you did later on. Because generally what happens is you find out that, yes, there are really some, some things going on in that other person's life. And it had them in a place that was not reasonable or normal for them whenever they did that thing that would make you feel insulted or offended. And so, um, like I said, you end up feeling grateful that you didn't just pounce on them and, and say, hey, what are you doing? Why are you talking to me like that? What's going on? None of that stuff. Because um, once you know what has been going on with them, it's pretty plain to see that the last thing they needed was somebody else freaking out around them. <laughs> All right, so that's the part of you that's being grown or expanded right now, that part that is learning to give grace to the people around you, whether you know why they need it or not. Um, the next card that comes up does talk about something that you stand for, and this is something that you stand for with great enthusiasm, possibly even aggression. There's something in your life or some relationship possibly even in your life, but there's something in your life that is no longer serving you but you're not really ready to let it go yet. There's a lot of sentimental attachment there and you're just not ready to let this thing go. And so if somebody tries to tell you, even somebody with good intentions tries to tell you, hey, you have got to turn this thing loose, you're gonna be saying to them, you know what? This is my decision and that's not where I am. 
so you need to just hit the road. So this is um, this is what I see you actually standing up for. Your right to take your time and letting things go, and your right to wait until it feels right to let it go fully. Now the next card that I have does talk to me about how other people perceive you. This is telling me that other people perceive you as somebody who proceeds very logically that you like to think things through and you like to have things make sense to you uh, before you move forward with them. All right, so the next card is our key card here. This is the lesson or experience that you go through to actually complete the life cycle here. And so what's coming up is I see you losing some of your insecurities. So this is a time of healing. This is a time of looking at um, some of those insecurities possibly and figuring out where they come from and evaluating um, how realistic those insecurities actually are. Um, a, a lot of different ways to handle insecurities, but I just see some of your insecurities really falling away here. Um, as you go through towards the end of the life cycle, as these insecurities are falling away, there are some things that are going on. One of the things is very positive. You were um, becoming more and more in tune with um, who I call sacred spirit. Some people would call him the Holy Spirit. Some people would call him God, the universe, source, whatever label you put on that great creative power that's bigger than us. Um, just fill, that, fill in that blank there. But um, really getting tuned in with that great creative power that's bigger than us and, and understanding as you get tuned in more about yourself, more about your own path, and also more about um, your interactions with other people and even with nature. So I see that coming in for you. I also see that losing some of these insecurities has been a very freeing experience for you. And so now you are um, looking at some options that you might not have looked at before. I feel like this ties in especially with um, your work situation where you're trying to figure out where you can bring your strengths to bear in the world and have the world pay your bills for you doing what you're good at. Um, I feel like there's as you lose some of those insecurities, there are some new things that you're thinking about that could be possibilities for you. Um, I do see you taking some time to really look at um, a good handful of those and find some knowledge about, you know, what would life be like if I specialized in this? You know, what would life be like if I switched over to doing this instead of what I've always been doing? And really thinking it over, I feel like you're also going to be talking to friends about um, all of these options that are in front of you and really trying to hash out what fits you the best, you know, and what is what is important to you, what are the most important things and looking at the pros and cons and weighing all of that out. And then ultimate fulfillment of this life cycle, I see you as you're sorting all this stuff out, you're also dealing with somebody <laughs> who's a little bit of a busybody uh, for most of you, this is going to be a female, although for some this could be a male very easily. It's a general reading, remember. Um, but this is somebody who um, I think that they feel like they have your best interest at heart. They have some very specific ideas about what you should and shouldn't be doing. And it's really important to them that you listen to them and that you do what they tell you is the best because they think they know the best. And so I see you interacting with this person too, even as you're losing those insecurities and even as you're thinking about what fits best. And I'm feeling like there's a little bit of a clash with this person because um, they feel like they know best for you, but you are starting to get some confidence now about um, ideas for yourself about what is best. And even if you don't have confidence about, okay, I'm ready to jump off and do this idea, you're at least confident enough to know, you know what, I want to consider this. I want to think this out. I don't want to just brush it off the table that fast just because it doesn't sound good to you. <laughs> so I see you having those kinds of interactions. And I've got to tell you, um, it sounds like something that could feel very negative, but 
it also feels um, like growth to me. It feels like having these interactions make you more aware of what you really want because you kind of have to define what you really want as you're dealing with this person. And as you define that and look at those things, you come into this place where you are more confident about what you want. You're more sure of what you want. You have a better picture of what it is that you want. So having this interaction with this person really does help you to grow and help you to progress in a very positive way, even though the experiences uh, may feel <laughs> a little bit negative as you're walking through them. So anyway, that's one life cycle in the month of March for you, Virgos. I do appreciate all of you stopping by and hanging out with me. Um, thank you so much for all your kind and wonderful comments. I do read all of those. Sometimes I don't have time to answer them all, but I do read them all. Um, everybody, thank you so much for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic month, and I'll see you back here the next time. Peace out.